Hey, what's happening, everybody? It's time for a Crypto News Today update, and we are going to jump right into it in this video. Yes, the market is dipping right now, but I did say last night on a Twitter space, Sean, thank you so much for having me last night, that I do think we would dip lower before we saw the top of this cycle. And there are some indicators out there that that is happening right now. Bitcoin is 45000 and some change at the time of this recording. I do think we could dip a little bit lower before we see a blow-off top in early 2022 in the first quarter. Some other people are still calling for a super cycle in the 2022. I do think that that is a other, another scenario. Uh, so I think scenario number one here, let me just say this. Scenario number one is for me, at least personally, in my opinion, that we see a bull market into first quarter. 2022, sometime in May or June, then we hit a bearish market. Now, that's scenario number one. Scenario number two is that we see a super cycle throughout 2022. And then scenario number three is that we are in a bear market right now. So those are the three possible scenarios. I think the first scenario that I laid out that we are still in a bull market, yet consolidating right now, and uh, getting a lot of market manipulation, not enough retail money coming in. I think that is the highest probability, in my opinion. That is how I'm playing things right now. Uh, but I will look to move uh, some money into stable coins in, in quarter number one as we go up, uh, you know, in terms of the market going up, if we do. And, and I hope we do, and I think we will. But I will start being a little bit more strategic early 2022. So that's where I'm at now. Let's jump into what Bitcoin's price is doing because it impacts the overall market so drastically, right? We know that. Now, 44,000 could be the bottom. This was uh, Coin Telegraph contributor Michael Van de Pope. I follow him on Twitter. Great follow. He posted the following chart outlining a rough sketch for how BTC price action could unfold over the next couple of months. Okay. Now, He's got, based on the chart provided, Pope sees the possibility of another drawdown to the 44,000 range, which will be followed by a return to the current levels for a brief consolidation period and then a resumption um, of the uptrend. Now, he, uh, he went on to say that, you know, this could go well into 2022 before we reach the top of Bitcoin in this cycle. So Vende Pope, see, Pope sees that uh, we're going to be in a, in a kind of an extended uh, cycle here before um, the bears come out to play and we get into a bear market. Now, a uh, final bit of insight came from cryptocurrency analyst TechDev, who posted the following chart detailing a more macro view of BTC's price action after each halving cycle. Okay. So with that being said, TechDev identified two previous instances where BTC saw price intense periods of volatility only to be followed by a late stage rally and a blow-off top scenario to a new all-time high. Despite multiple swings in sentiment over the last two weeks, Bitcoin is in the same macro position. Follow-up tweets and responses pointed to a generally bullish outlook for BTC in the long term for TechDev, who stated that all eyes are on the retracement levels. Now, the views and opinions here are solely those of the author and do not necessarily reflect those of Telegraph. Cointelegraph.com. As always, this is just for entertainment, educational purposes only. However, that is where we are with the overall markets. Traders kind of have slowly delayed the 100K Bitcoin prediction, at least for 2021. Still expect a blow off top into 2022. I believe 70 to 75,000 could be our next top, maybe 80,000. I just don't think it's going to get upwards to 90 to 100. I could be wrong. I would love if I were, okay? But I do think that, you know, we're, we're not yet done in this cycle. I do think that, um, in my personal opinion. And I mean, uh, that also means that altcoins are not done running as of yet either, okay? So with all that being said, thank you so much for stopping by. Like that smash button, subscribe to the channel. Patreon link down below in the description. We are bringing a weekly podcast starting this week. More details to come. We're going to launch that first episode later this week. Can't wait for that. It's going to be a great one and uh, going to be a lot of fun. Myself and Austin Hilton going to uh, bring you uh, new updates each and every week with our weekly podcast. So thank you so much for stopping by and uh, I will see you in the next video.